good evening, church family, visitors. So good to see you tonight. Hey, God bless you. So thankful to see you. Hope the Lord is, well, I know he's blessed you today. I hope you found his blessings along his path today. And it's good to have you here at Newtown Baptist Church tonight. We're going to open up with a song, and Brother Walter is going to have a few welcome comments, and then uh, we'll move forward with the worship time tonight. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to. There might not be enough books out there for everybody to look into a book, but most everybody knows Amazing Grace. Y'all tune that up. We're going to sing uh, all four verses of that, and we usually add a fifth verse where we just let our hearts praise the Lord. And you just feel free to worship Him tonight and do that on that fifth verse and all the way through. And if you'll stand with us. you can be seated. It's good to see each one of you. We want to welcome you to Newtown Baptist Church tonight. If you're visiting with us, it's so good to have you. I pray you'll feel at home. You'll worship God. That's what we meant for. Oh, you say, but preacher, we're going to have a singing. Yeah, we are, but it's going to be a singing of worship and giving praise to God. And I hope tonight if there's a need in your life, you'll bring it to the Lord. God loves you. He cares about you. I preach this morning from Matthew 11. Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. What a joy to know a Savior like that. But we appreciate you coming. Newtown folks, remember the announcements. Get a bulletin. Our youth are meeting over tonight in the youth building. Our children are meeting in the children's building. And we're meeting here, and we're meeting to worship. I wonder before we pray, how many have an unspoken request of faith? God knows our needs, and I'm grateful he does. Brother Doug, good to see you. Would you lead us in prayer, please?
God's people said. Well, we're delighted tonight to have the Morrison family with us. I love to hear them sing because they just sing and magnify the Lord. No show about them. They just sing, and I appreciate that. Give them a good welcome right now to New Song. Jesus passed by. 
You'll know when he passes by, amen? I believe that. I know it ain't about feelings, but I'm glad I can feel when he shows up, amen? Thank you for that. Let's go ahead and bring this to us. Those of you who ain't heard it, we call this our hell song. Are you ready? Some of you haven't heard it. I always like to look at people when I say that. So. One, two, three. day, if you're saved by the grace of God, you're not going to hell, amen? I'm thankful for that, thankful for the promise. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in thine heart, thou shalt be, here, read with that, thou shalt be saved. Pretty simple, ain't it? Some of the ones are complicated. He wants to save you. If you want to be saved, guess what? He wants to save you. Amen. I believe that. I'm thankful for that. Now, we're going to do a new song, is that all right? We're going to practice. Turn the live stream off, though. I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, now, I love this song. Our dear friend, Miss Rebecca Peck, wrote this song. I heard him, Brother Jeremy Harvey, and uh, I love the message to this song. I, I appreciate Miss Rebecca. I, I may have said this before. I know we've sang here three, four, five times now. You either feel sorry for us or like us, one or the other. We'll take it either way. We're, we're, we're glad to come back. But anyway, uh, I, I may have said this before about Miss Rebecca. She's not afraid to write a song that's got some preach in it. And I appreciate that. Amen. 
it's a, it's easy to preach them camp meeting messages and them shouting messages, and I, I love them, and we need them, especially today we need them. But I, I appreciate preachers that'll step on my toes a little bit. Somebody just y'all say amen right there. I'm, I know Brother Hare. I know how he preaches. I've I've heard him step on some toes a few times, and we need that. We need that. I need to be challenged, and I appreciate songwriters that do that too. Amen. And so this song has got a very serious message to it. No matter how, wherever you are, no matter how far, uh, Lord, we're willing to go. And it's easy to say something like that, kind of like it's easy. Y'all remember that song we used to sing years ago? You don't hear it much anymore. But, Lord, whatever it takes to be more like you. It's easy to say things like that. It's a whole lot more difficult to actually live it. And, but I want to. I want to be able to say it and mean it, don't you? And so listen to the words of this song. said the words that forever change her life. Say that and mean it, amen. God help us. Um, appreciate that song. We're going to sing another one along those lines. That's Brother Rodney just wrote this song, um, Greater Vision. Brother Will wrote those, those songs. That was 
is probably one of the best songwriters on planet Earth. And he wrote this song, and it's going to be the title track on our new album that we hope to have out in the next couple months, and it's called Still. Listen to this. believe that, amen. I wouldn't sing it if I didn't believe it. I think it'll still get the job done. I'm thankful for those that have uh, came before us. Brother Hare, my pastor, went on to be with the Lord. It's been about a year and a half ago now, I guess. And uh, 
the soul food for, for the, uh, the legacy that they've left behind. And I'm not thankful for it just because of that fact. Just because I'm thankful because they knew what worked, amen? And they knew what was right, and they know what's right, and they preach the truth, and they stand on the word of God. And that's what we need. That's what we need more than ever. And if we're changing for the sake of changing, we're changing for the wrong reason. Amen. I still believe in the book, the blood, and the blessed hope. Amen. <laughs> It'll still get the job done. I'm thankful. Thankful for it. What got me in the big family, I don't know about you, but it's what got me in it. I'm thankful. God's good. Amen. Uh, I noticed Addie, she's holding on to that water for dear life down there. I think she's afraid we're going to spill it since none of us has got any. Big old smile on her face. That might be moonshine or something. I don't know. But no, uh, thankful to be here. I've already said that. Anybody here never heard us before? Raise your hand. Any first time? Got a few. All right. Well, I'll introduce these ladies real quick. Just so you know, these ain't my wives. <laughs> or my sisters. Or my sister wives. If you're from Alabama, somebody say amen right there. from Georgia now, Alabama, that's right. In fact, we live just right up the road. We could almost walk here tonight. That's what we really like coming here, Brother Jeff. So it's, a, it's a short trip. We got to leave here tonight and go to Kentucky, so we appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, these are my daughters. This is Megan. Megan's 21. This is Katie. Katie, well, Katie just turned 18 last week, and she's grown up now, or at least thinks she is. And over here is Addie Bell. She's 16. And I don't know, the first time we came here, they was probably half that age. I think I was just playing, they didn't play and, and sing things in, and we just kind of sang, and, and one thing led to another, and then she started playing the bass, she started, Katie plays everything, she can play the piano, bass, guitar, mandolin, just about anything, if she had 18 sets of hands, we wouldn't be able to play anything, she'd play it all, Brother Jeff, that's how stingy she is, but no, she, she's a blessing, and we're working on Addie, one of these days she's going she's gonna to get banjo fever, and we're praying, y'all help us pray. Or pray that she marries a banjo player, one or the other. We'll take, we'll take it either way. Amen. But so thankful. I'm Brother Wesley. Mama's right back there. Wave at everybody, Mama. That's their Mama, not my Mama. Make sure I get that right before I get in trouble, Brother Jeff. Yeah. We're, we're praying Mama will get saved and start singing with us. Y'all help us pray about that. keeps us straight and, and uh, takes care of us and keeps our ears clean and all that good stuff. So we're thankful for mom. I'm thrilled to be here. God's good, isn't he? Ain't it good to be in God's house? It's good to be anywhere these days. Somebody say amen right there. And we're so blessed. Uh, I preached this morning up in Dalton and just kind of alluded to that a little bit, how blessed we are. How, how I'm not trying to put you on a guilt trip. I'm preaching to me. I mean, just... I just got, I'm, I have a naturally pessimistic attitude. I've always been that way. It's awful. And you pray for me. I mean that. Um, I ought not to be that way. God is good. On our worst day, like I've said, on our worst day, heaven's our home. And uh, we've got it so much better. Think about those, those dear people over in Ukraine. And I know we've heard that's been on everybody's mind. Just that's relevant right now. But just there's a lot of Christians over there. A lot of people don't know. Just a few years ago, they opened that country up, and there's been an influx of Christianity and and and, and missionaries and mission works. Don't think for a second the devil don't know that. He knows that, and that's no doubt part of the reason for that affliction they're suffering over there now. We need to pray for those dear people, and we need to thank God that it ain't us. Somebody say Amen right there. We're meeting tonight and worshiping in spirit and in truth and then in freedom. Nobody checking us when we walked in the door. Amen. We met tonight. And that's just the faithfulness of God and the goodness of God. And to get Megan to sing about that, this song has been very dear to us these past couple of years. Just, just thinking about how good God is and his faithfulness. And so, Brother West, it sounds like you ain't been through any trials or valleys or tribulations. Nothing could be farther from the truth. Just like everybody. In case you hadn't noticed, we've all been in a valley. <laughs> Turns out old Joel Osteen was wrong, right? You're going to go through a trial every now and then. I'm not being crazy. I'm just being honest. There's people that believe that. Believe if you're saved, you'll never go through a valley. If you're right with God, 
you'll never have any hardships. And I'm still trying to find that in the Bible, Brother Walker. I don't know about you, but my Bible says man that is born of woman is but a few days and full of trouble. And it also says, yea, and all that will live God in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So if you're saved by the grace of, grace of God, there's a real good chance you're going to have some bad days. Amen. You're going to go through some trials and valleys that we all have. But I said that to say this, in spite of it all, God is good. And he's faithful. And boy, I've dropped the ball more times than I care to confess or care to admit. And I've let him down, and I've broken his heart. And I've not been faithful, but he's always been faithful. He's always been true. Thank you. You're right, Brother Jeff. Thank the Lord. Aren't you glad it doesn't depend on us? So we're going to sing about that now. Listen to me as she sings again.
Aren't you glad it don't depend on me and you? <laughs> I'm so thankful. I, I don't know about you, but my feelings get the best of me a lot. They just do. And uh, if I had to depend on them, I'd be in a bad way. But I'm so thankful. There's a beautiful irony there that no matter how you feel, no matter how you feel about it, no matter how bad it looks on the outside or how bad you feel on the inside, he never changes, and he's always faithful. I'm so thankful for that. If we could ever get a hold of that, I don't know. We'd be probably all run a lap around the building, wouldn't we? I'm telling you. Some of y'all ain't never did that before. Y'all do it sometime. It'll do you good, I promise you. Bro Brother Sammy used to say all the time, Brother Harry, I know you heard him say it. He'd say, now some people, they shout, and some people run the aisles, and some people walk the pews, and he's like, you may not do that, and that's all right. He said, I like it. He said, but you ought to at least sit around and laugh and cry a little bit. Amen. <laughs> I believe it. But I know it ain't about feelings. I'm glad I can feel it. Amen. Thank the Lord. God is good. But we'll do a few more. I um, do want to mention we have our uh, our uh, CDs and things. Most people don't even play CDs. Anymore. Some people, you young people, you don't even know what that is, do you? Y'all think they're little miniature LP records or something, don't you? Know? But we've got them back there if you still have a CD player. And if you don't, we've got... Uh, flash drives and things like that. Some some of y'all bought new vehicles here in the last couple of years, and they ain't got no CD players in them, do they? Well, they've got the li they've got this little slot right there, and you probably thought it was like a place to light your cigarette or something, but it ain't. It's a it's what that's for. We got it back there, just so you know. And it's got all of our music on there. And uh, I always say this, and I mean it. If we don't have a dime, take our music with you. If you uh, want our CDs out of music, take it with you. We hope it's a blessing and encouragement and help. That's what we want more than anything in the world. And if you do have some money, they're $150 a piece. <laughs> Used to be 100 Brother Jeff, but because gas is so high and inflation, we went up a little bit. But no, they're not 100 Take them with you. That's okay. And Megan, Megan makes jewelry. She's got, I mean, nice handmade necklaces and earrings and bracelets and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's beautiful. I'd wear it if I wasn't a dude. I'll just tell you that. I mean, it's, but I'm a dude, so I don't. Somebody say amen right there. <laughs> she, she don't like that joke at all. She don't like that joke. She'll sell it to dudes, too. She don't care. But, no, she's got some pretty stuff back there. Um, yeah, we, we, all of the money that comes in from all that goes to a charity we support. It's called Feed My Children. Just so you know. It's a good charity. Addie, Addie makes up about 85% of that charity. you never seen somebody that size eat so much food in your life, I'm telling you. She puts Brother Kevin to shame. That's saying a lot. Amen. <laughs> Love you, Brother Kevin. Brother Kevin, I'm telling you. We'll do a few more. I hope you all are getting a blessing tonight. And encourage. You, what you see is what you get with us. I hope that's all right. Ain't no, we don't put on a show or entertain or anything like that. We just stand up and sing and tell people what God's called us to do, and so if you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord, you're our special guest, amen, we hope you're miserable, that's right, I don't want you to come and enjoy this if you're lost, something's wrong, we're doing something wrong, if we, we want you to be miserable, you have to come to altar and get saved, that's what we want, and it'd be a good night to get saved, I know it's a, I know some of y'all got bacon hangover, I know, is it, y'all have bacon right there, Brother Jeff, is it but sausage, might be. Oh, y'all hadn't ate yet? I thought you ate before service. No hog meat left. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you're here tonight and you're lost, we want you to be saved by the grace of God. That's what we want. Amen. Amen. We're going to do a few more. This is called He Saw It All.
Want to hear a Christmas song? I ain't joking. What are y'all laughing at? It's March. We're getting we're getting close, right? Don't follow me. No, <laughs> I love Christmas music. My wife hates Christmas music, so it balances out in our house. But no, she just associates it with cold, and she hates the cold. So I don't. I, don't, I love Christmas. And I, it, probably the main reason I love Christmas music is it's the one time of the year that everybody on planet Earth gets to hear about Jesus. You ever thought about that? Whether they like it or not, amen, they're going to hear about Jesus. And a lot of Christmas songs are all the same all year long. Don't worry, we ain't going to sing Jingle Bell Rock or anything like that. It, some of y'all are just like, what are they doing? You know, listen to the words of this. We're going we're gonna to sing it off a cappella. Who is he in yonder star at whose feet the shepherds fall?
tell me the story of Jesus. Amen. Never get tired of hearing it. Never get tired of singing about it. That old story. Christ Jesus came into the world. Paul said to save sinners of whom I am chief. He was the chief where all the little Indians, amen. I'm thankful he came. Thankful he was born. Thankful he lived. So thankful he died. Say, so how do you know he loves you, Brother Ray? Say, how do I know he loves me? How do I know he really cares? Because he died for you. Gave his only begotten son. Pay that awful price. So that you and I don't have to face death. Say by the grace of God, we don't death isn't in our vocabulary. We just move from one world to the other. Amen. But if you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord, what a death you're gonna face. You'll face it here, and you'll face that second death, and it's gonna be far worse than this one, I promise. I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm trying to warn you. Jesus made a way. I said it once already. If you're here tonight lost and you want to be saved, I believe with all my heart you can be saved. Amen. I believe it's that simple. I don't believe anybody that's ever wanted to be saved couldn't be saved. He loves you. He wants to save you. And he'll take you just like you are and save you by his marvelous grace. And he won't force you. If you want to go to hell, he'll let you go to hell. I believe that. But he sure don't want you to. He loves you tonight. We're going to sing about that old story, Lord, about the cross. The dear friend of Joel that he wrote this is the title cut on our latest album. Listen to it. It's about the cross. Nothing better to sing about than the cross. Nothing better to preach about than the C.H. Spurgeon said, no matter what I'm preaching on, I make a beeline to the cross. <laughs> Amen. Think about the cross. It'll change your perspective, change your attitude. I'm thankful, so thankful that I'll ever get over it. This is the song. <laughs>
He's worthy to be praised, amen. So thankful. God's good all the time. God's good. So thankful for the price he paid. That you and I don't have to go to hell, never face death. We win. Amen. No matter what comes our way, the worst thing that can happen to us is we go to heaven. Amen. <laughs> and Paul said, for me to live is Christ and to die. We ought to walk around with a smile on our face. We ought to walk around with a pep in our step. Got no sad stories to tell. God is good. Amen. I'm so thankful for his blessings to me. Not discounting trials and tribulations. Please don't misunderstand me. I know there's probably people here going through terrible valleys, trials, tribulations. But I said it once. I'll say it again. On my worst day, God's good. And I've been blessed. I'm so thankful for his goodness. Hope we've been a blessing to you tonight. Encouragement. Help. We'll do one more song. We always try to end with this song. The Lord lets us. And if you know it, sing along with us. And uh, if you want to lift your hand and just praise Him, it'd be all right. Amen. Some of you have never even done that. You ought to try it every once in a while. So I don't feel like it. When you do it, you'll feel like it. I promise you. I promise. You. I ain't never met anybody, Brother Hare, that praised the Lord and regretted it. Amen. You won't be the first. I promise you. God's good. Thankful for His goodness. Amen. Changing of leaves, food on my table, a good place to sleep, clothes on my back, and shoes on my feet. Oh, I have been blessed. I have been blessed. God is so good to me. Precious are his thoughts of you and me. No way I could count them. There's not enough time. So I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so Sisters and brothers, memories.
Good God, is that I'm 81, but I'm still a pastor. I've been blessed. Amen. Amen. God is so good. You know, aren't you glad we live in America? Yes. I think of those poor people in the UK being killed by crazy demon-possessed have a special need in your life. Maybe you're lost. You do have a special need in your life if you're lost. But maybe you have a tremendous burden on your heart. You never know what others are going through. But God does. And I just want to open this invitation to you tonight to get out of your seat and come. Somebody to come and pray with you. Take the word of God. Show you how to be saved. Maybe you just need to come and thank God for blessing you the way he has. Sing it for us.
want you to stand and sing that chorus with us. And you know what? I've been blessed. I have been blessed. God is so good to me. Precious are his thoughts of you and of me. No way I could count them. There's not enough time. So I'll just thank him for being so kind. God has been good, so appreciate them. You really appreciate them. Give God a good hand of praise. For well, I'm glad you came. Okay. I'm glad I got you have to remind me of things. <laughs> I forget them sometimes. That's one of my big struggles with this announce folks. You didn't announce so and so preacher. I know it. I didn't come to be an announcer. I come to be a preacher. <laughs> Amen. But thank you again for coming. All the offering tonight goes to the mark. You're writing a check right at the vent and uh, if it's thousand dollars, whatever you want to do, you do it. I'm sure they'll use it to the glory of God. I want to thank you. And all, oh, by the way, the offering plates are never extra. So if you've had COVID, that may have been where I got it. I've had it twice. And that may have been where I got it. No, I didn't get enough for my thing plate. Okay. <laughs> but you give tonight as God has blessed you. I want to invite you, if you're visiting with us, if you have a home church, support us. I'd like to invite you to come back. We're doing a little work around here, you can see. We gave all our pews away to two other churches. And uh, we're getting ready to put new carpet, new chairs. And God has blessed us dearly, and we praise him for that. All right. Are you glad you came tonight? Yeah. I'm glad you did, too. And God bless you. Have a good evening. Oh, yes, that is March the 19th, Wild Game.